Nolan Keith Buchanan, 19, was convicted Wednesday, June 13 of three counts of first-degree murder in the death of his father, stepmother, and eight-year-old brother at their vacation home in Greenwood. Here's what happened. After responding to a fire in Greenwood, California on September 13, 2015, officials felt lucky they were able to contain the damage in a forested area popular for vacation homes. It was burnt flesh, said the officer. He saw a skull and part of a chest cavity. The area was cordoned off as a crime scene and sheriffs were notified. A second set of bones was found. A Dodge truck near the crime scene, along with a two-axle trailer, was registered to Buchanan Construction and Adam Buchanan, 38, who had a home in Benicia, California. An officer went to the Buchanan home where Nolan Buchanan, Adam's 16-year-old son from his first marriage, was home alone. His father, his dad's fiance, Molly McAfee, 37, and their 8-year-old son, Gavin Buchanan, were at their cabin in El Dorado County. Nolan stayed behind he claimed. By September 15, the burned area had cooled and investigators collected evidence, including trash from a nearby fire pit. More remains were found that changed the direction of the case as officials found a piece of a skull with a bullet hole in it. At that point, all of the officers realized that this was in fact a homicide and it was no longer an accidental fire. The remains were collected for forensic analysis. In the first set of remains, a bullet was lodged in the victim's hip. The skull with a bullet hole was that of a child. The crime lab confirmed the victims were Adam Buchanan, Molly McAfee, and their son, Gavin. The then 16-year-old drove the family truck back to their home in Benicia and denied being at the cabin, concocting intricate lies to avoid detection. Over the weekend following the murders, officials caught a break thanks to a cleanup effort by students less than a mile away from Buchanan Construction in Benicia. A purse containing Adam's ID card and a rifle were recovered. The proximity of the evidence to Buchanan Construction compelled officials to obtain a warrant to search the family business. Investigators knew that the family left on Friday to go to the cabin. They reviewed surveillance footage from the business and saw that Adam hooked the trailer filled with stones to an F-150 truck, not the Dodge pickup as Nolan had told them. Red flags rose up. Investigators re-interviewed Nolan, who claimed that during the weekend his family was away, he had gone out on a date with his girlfriend. He'd paid for it using his dad's ATM card, which Nolan said his father had left for him. A warrant was obtained to search the Buchanan home, vehicles, and financial records. They turned up evidence that Adam Buchanan had used his ATM card on Friday, September 11th at a Taco Bell. Surveillance video from the fast food chain showed the Buchanans in the drive-thru in the F-150, not the Dodge as Nolan told them. A Taco Bell receipt dated September 11th, just days before the fire, was found in the F-150. Investigators were struck by the fact that the slip included a purchase of four drinks. The next transaction was Saturday, September 12th. It was for a $40 withdrawal at an ATM at a bar about 30 minutes from the Buchanan cabin. Security footage from the establishment confirmed that Adam and Molly were there and that he got the cash. Video footage from another business showed the F-150 driving toward the Buchanan cabin around 2.30 on the morning of the fire. Later footage showed the F-150 heading back toward Benicia at 3.30 a.m. On the morning of September 13, Adam's ATM card was used at three Benicia businesses, Starbucks, McDonald's, and a gas station. Investigators confirmed that Adam had only one ATM card. Nolan was interviewed again at his high school on September 23. They confronted him with what they knew and placed him under arrest. In November 2015, Nolan was charged with murdering Molly, Adam, and eight-year-old Gavin Buchanan. According to the El Dorado County District Attorney's Office, evidence at trial showed that Buchanan planned the murders before the family left their Benicia home to go to their cabin. He also attempted to establish an alibi, manipulated police, friends, and family into believing he was shocked to hear of his family's deaths and made plans to take over the family business. Buchanan testified at the trial that his father was the actual killer. 
His new story was detailed and explained that his father first shot his stepmother, then shot his brother, and, when his father turned the gun on the defendant, he wrestled the gun away from his father and shot him in self-defense. However, evidence proved the defendant's new story was another lie because critical details of his story were determined to be forensically impossible. An El Dorado County jury made up of seven men and five women convicted Buchanan of three counts of the murder charges and enhancement for use of a firearm in the commission of the crimes. It took the jury only two hours to return their verdict. Nolan Buchanan was convicted of the murders on June 13, 2018. He was sentenced to 150 years, with a possibility of parole in 25 years.